Got you. Got you. Okay. Let me let me ask you something that's just from your your experience. Um, the contribution of the male and the female. I hear a lot of talk about this. I just want to get your experience on it. Okay. Genetically, we get a baby a little bit into genetics, but some people say you, the the pups pull more from mama, and some people said no, nah, it's it's kind of like the the genes settle where they settle. One pup might have more than dad. In your experience, what what's your thoughts on that subject? You know that 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 that's I've, I've been asked that question a lot of times, bro. Mm -hmm. And the way that I can answer is with a question. Um, well, first, before I give you that question, um, the books all say the mother, mm -hmm. you know, science says the mother, but I, I, in my experience, if you don't have that stud, you can, you, you, I mean, you have to have both. You have to have super, you have to, it takes a great female and a great male to produce great puppies, but you have to have that male that produces. You have great females. The female is super important, but in my experience, I've bred great females, great males, and I haven't gotten great puppies. But when I've had great females with a male that produces, then I have great puppies. So that tells me I have to have that great male in order to produce the great puppies. 